Hello and welcome to this edition of Let's Talk About It. I have an awesome guest today here in the house. Right here from H-Town, Miss Latavia Roberson, formerly of the group Destiny's Child. Latavia. How are you? I am fantastic, <laughs> baby. How you doing? I am wonderful. Yeah, and you look wonderful. Thank you. I feel wonderful. Yes, ma'am. Thank you so much for taking time out oh, to be here. Thank you for having me. Absolutely, absolutely. I know this has been a long time coming. It so has been I'm a so glad to meet you. Yes, a very long time coming. And I've been talking to Tavia about this interview for quite a while. Yes. And so you know, a lot of times things just work out in God's perfect timing. So I guess absolutely. today is an example of that. So uh, what are you doing in H Town? You know, I came here. I had to um, host an award show for TSU. Okay. Um, they usually have their Spring Fest, you know, in April. So yes. um, I was asked to come and be a co-host, and I, I was very excited about it. And I also got to come home. I hadn't seen my family since last summer, so it was really, it was wow. really, really, really great for me to be back. Yeah, yeah. And you know what? I know a lot of the world hadn't seen Latavia Roberson in quite some time. <laughs> yes. Yeah. You know what? I know a lot of times people are like, what happened to Tavia? What happened to Tavia? You know, so I'm glad that you're here and people are starting to see Tavia again. Now, you came from one of the biggest selling girls group in the history of America, mm -hmm. Destiny's Child. How did you even get involved in Destiny's Child, Tavia? I actually got involved in Destiny's Child through my modeling agency. Okay. I've been doing commercials and I've been doing a lot of modeling and a lot of print work um, here in Houston and, you know, maybe Dallas, you know, close, you know, close, close cities, cities uh -huh. and to Houston. And um, through my modeling agency, they were looking for girls of all different ethnic backgrounds, and I got the chance to audition. I was about seven years old. Right. Um, about to be eight. Um, that's the day that I met Beyonce, and okay. it was history from there. Wow. wow. So you and Beyonce actually met that, you know, at, the, at, at the audition. At the audition yes. for the, just for the... the, the for the first group that, that ended up being Girls Time. Okay, that's mm -hmm. right, but then, then they changed the name, because Destiny's Several Child... Several times, oh my God. <laughs> right, that wasn't the original name, I remember. Right, right. Yeah, yeah. so how'd y'all end up landing on Destiny's Child? After going through about a million and two names, um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, the, the, the story, you know, Miss Tina, uh, Beyonce's mom, was flipping through the Bible and a picture of us fell out and she saw the word destiny, you know, in bold face print right. and, you know, as we started living with that for a while, the child evolved out of that um, okay. from, you know, management and the record company. Yes, yes. Okay, and then one thing led to another and then Destiny's child was given birth. Hey, man, literally. Literally. <laughs> <Man>. <laughs> so tell me, what was that like being in one of the biggest bands uh, in the history? You know, in history. It was one of the most amazing experiences of my life. Uh -huh. I would never trade it for anything in the world. I learned so much. Being able to be in a group with um, young ladies that I had to spend so much time with. Right. Outside of, like, my family. Because I was always close to my cousins. You know, Nikki and Nina. They Nick were, and Nina, yeah. They were dancers in, in the group at first. We were all right. three dancers together at first. I, initially, I wasn't a singer. I, yeah, because you I actually worked, came in as a, was it a rap I artist? I was a dancer, and I was rapping. And my mother just put me in, in voice lessons. And okay. I kind of started to evolve. get into that. And Matthew heard me sing and then asked me to be at rehearsal one day. So that happened. But... Um, back to what you were saying, it was just, it's something that I can't describe. Okay. Coming from where I came from, from a girl that was just in school, and I loved being in school and everything, and as big as the group ended up becoming, I, mm -hmm. I loved to be in front of a camera and do things right. like that, but I never in a million years thought that that group was going to do that. Of course, we prayed for it, and that's Absolutely. what we wanted, but in hindsight, but when it actually happened. Right. It was like, wow. Yeah. This is really, really, really happening. Like the dream come true. Yes, literally. Mm -hmm. And you were in, the, in Destiny's Child for how many years, Tavia? Hmm, seven. Up until about 17, huh? Actually, oh. I 18 until I was 18. 18. So about 11 years. About 11 years. Mm -hmm. Wow. Until so 1999. I, don't, I have no idea. Right. Don't get me to start doing math. Oh, uh, don't don't even try to do the math. I'm gonna help you out. Oh, what you trying to say? <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna avoid the math today. <laughs> but I know you were in the group for a long time, and so you got to do a lot of things. You also traveled a lot. What was that like for you, being a young child and being on the road uh, all the time, being away from school and all this? It was it was interesting, but you know we were doing what we loved, yeah. and we got to be together. You know we were sisters, and we were really, really, really friends. So. Uh -huh. 
us doing that was, in a sense, outside of being able to socially be around like our peers, right? Who wouldn't want to be doing what we were doing? Exactly. A lot of people don't realize though, like how hard it is. Yes. Especially being a child, because it is a lot of hard work, and mm -hmm. being away from your family and your friends, you get homesick a lot, and not being able to do the things that normal kids do. Right. It, it's 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 really. It's really, really challenging. Now, would you trade that for anything? Oh, because of where I am now and me looking back, right. absolutely not. Absolutely. Never. Okay. <laughs> absolutely not, huh? No. So now we're gonna fast forward a little bit. Okay. Something happened with Destiny's Child, mm -hmm. and you guys were no longer a part of it. We looked up, and there was no Latavia, and there was no Latoya. Yes. What was that experience like for you? It was. It was hard. I, I, I have to say that it was one of the hardest things that I've ever had to endure. And I think the hardest thing was like not being around the people that became your family. Mm -hmm. Because we were always away from home. And because it was really, it was a it was business right. that, that made it happen. You know, it had nothing to do with us four personally. Right. But just the experience of, of looking up and one day thinking that, you know, there might be some resolution and there there wasn't. Right. That was the most heartbreaking part. Yeah. And things, that do, they, I, I believe that they do happen for a reason. Yes. And that's, you know, and I, I, that I, was my destiny. That was your clearly. destiny. And that's a good way to put it. And a lot of times things do happen for a reason. We don't always Definitely. understand it when we're going through the experience. Oh, no. <laughs> so yeah, and a lot of times until we come out on the other side, uh, that we're able to really understand. Right. When we're able to reflect and say, "Okay, God, I see what you were working out mm -hmm. in the midst of what I was dealing with or going through at that time," because we can easily think, "This is the end of life for me." Mm -hmm. And being a young girl, I know you had those moments where you thought life was over because you were no longer a part of that group. Yes, and but, definitely being young, <clears throat> it was it was it was definitely harder to understand. Yes. And and. And getting older and really, really, really starting to become a woman and understanding who I am. Yes. I started to understand why God did it to me. Yes. Now, I can't speak, like, because Beyonce had an experience with us not being there. So did Kelly. Latoya had a different right. experience because we, you know, we were kind of more so on the same side. But mm -hmm. I understand why it happened to me. Okay. And as crazy as it might seem to some people right i definitely know that it happened for a reason and, okay. it, and it's definitely led me to be the woman that i am wow and you know what when we have different life experiences that's what actually molds us oh of course so that we can become ultimately who god wants us to be right because it's not about us it's never about it's us. Not about us it's never about us but you're going to be a great example for so many other people Thank who you. have experiences like you that feel like okay, if Latavia Roberson made it through that loss of Destiny's Child, mm -hmm. then I too can make it through my experience and what Absolutely. I'm going through. I'm so much enjoying this interview with oh, you. Oh, so am I. Thoroughly, thoroughly. And we're going to come back in just a moment with more of Latavia Roberson, so stick around. You don't want to miss the rest of this interview. Welcome back to this edition of Let's Talk About It with my wonderful guest, Miss Latavia Roberson, who's in the house today. Latavia is letting us in on everything that's happening in her world. Latavia, thanks for being so transparent, man. Hey, you know what? I figure right now that, you know, I've lived this life for a reason, and I've been pruned by the Lord for a reason. So there's no reason for me to feel ashamed about anything that's happened to me in my past. So... Let's, let's, let's do it. Let's it. talk about it. <laughs> let's do it. <laughs> you know what? A lot of people, uh, you know, they, they, they thought that you guys left Destiny's Child. Mm -hmm. Now, that wasn't really the truth, though. And I want, I've always wanted to clear this up with everybody because, of course, people have always asked me, what happened with them? And I'm like, no, they never left Destiny's Child. Right. At, at the end of the day, like I said, it was, it, it, was a, it was business, and it was strictly between Latoya and myself and management. And 
we just thought that certain things were going to happen and the reason why I maintain that we didn't leave is because you know we were told that we were going to be able to sit down and talk about it mm -hmm. and then the next thing we know say my name video was released was released so I mean if that's leaving I mean I, everybody's entitled to their opinion certainly but um, my truth in my that everything wasn't your that reality. I've been saying my reality has been the same for over 10 years now right so. right and I know that uh, because so many people thought that y'all left I mean it was it was actually a shock to Latoya and Latavia when they were watching I think it was what MTV jammed or BET. one of the BET mm -hmm. and they actually saw a video on that was uh, they said next up is Destiny's Child and they're like how can that be because we right here on the couch checking this out on uh, what you mean that we right. ain't there and then next thing you know as you continue to watch this segment on TV what did you see we we were thinking that okay well we understood that the that it was about to be released and that the video had to go on mm -hmm. because it was definitely in production and um, we did not expect though to see two new people we thought that maybe they were just gonna do it you know just without us right. we were gonna still be able to resolve it but we knew that there were two other girls we okay. were able to tell them right off the rip and at that point in time I mean we were just like okay like you know what can we do right at this point and that's when you officially knew that you were actually kind of like kicked out of the group yes <clears throat> in so many words so the conversations that you were supposed to have prior never happened no they didn't and then next thing you know there's two more girls replacing Latoya and Latavia right all right so uh, what was that like for you once you uh, realized we're no longer in this in this band and you had actually you were there since the inception of it 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 was I mean I don't want to say that it was it wasn't traumatizing but it was just like it was just disbelief it was shock it was mm -hmm. Did that really? We were looking at each other like. Did that just happen? Did that? Did we, yeah, they kicked us out. We know I'm in that Like child. we. <laughs> so we were just like, well, okay, we yes, we gotta figure out like what, what we, we gonna, gonna do. With do. The rest of our life. Like, yeah. <laughs> What's our destiny? But, you know, of course, you know, like we're laughing about it now. It wasn't a laughing matter then, and I'm not saying that it had us all down in the dumps, like we right. weren't able to walk around and function. Mm -hmm. But, you know, we knew that there, that there were gonna be very very high mountains mountains excuse me to right. climb after that but at that point in time it was it was about starting to try to figure out how we were going to do that yes yes and obviously you guys figured out a way definitely because you're here today hey holla. You're, holla. you're still standing <laughs> you're still standing so life after destiny's child now you you vanished from the public eye mm -hmm for a very long time and so many people were wondering where is Latavia and people would always ask me where is the little cute one with the red hair the little oh, feisty girl, one thank you, thank yeah you, they would always you. say where the little cute one and I'm like well you know she's on hiatus or whatever you know um, so uh, tell us a little bit about that stint where you've been for for the last um, decade or so Tavia life after Destiny's Child for me has been very very different than it's been for the other three girls clearly Yes. Um, I haven't been visible, and I took some time off. I had to clear my head. Mm -hmm. I had to get Latavia back into a space to where I could function. Right. And at the time, being a child, Destiny's Child, you know, it was my life. And when you have so much idle time to yourself, mm -hmm. you can kind of start to live in your head a little bit. And yeah certain things start to replay like things from my childhood okay with um my parents and yes um things that had happened to me okay and really just kind of being by myself just led me into a dark place that okay. i found myself not really recognizing who i was yeah um, for a certain amount of time and I had to find a way to come out of that. Mm -hmm. And I didn't want to give anybody me. I didn't want to give you guys me without it being me. Right. So as hard as it was, I'm finally here. And, like, of course, I wanted it to be quicker than this. But yeah. that's not the way that the Lord does things. Right, right. At all. 
And we know that God's timing is perfect. Yes. Yeah. Always on time. And so often we want to rush things, oh. and, you know. Yes. Especially when we're going through something, we want to get through it and and keep on moving. Course, but a lot of, of times, when we're going through it, we're we're being sharpened and refined, yes. uh, so that we can be better when we come yes. out on the other side. Definitely. And uh, obviously, you are better. I'm I'm definitely better. I I'm a better woman. I'm a better person, and I can say that I am a great person, and I can mean it, and I don't feel like I'm being boastful or yes yeah. like like not by any means right. because clearly it was my path and it wasn't my time to be out in the public eye yes i would have definitely self-destructed mm -hmm. in public yes had it happened um and i know that that, time. that were some uh while you've been over the 10 years there were some different challenges that you faced Definitely. Um, and I know that uh, uh, you'd also mentioned like you were drinking. Yes, I was. And, and, and drinking took over your life for a minute. Is that would that it, be safe to say? It, 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 yes, it's safe to say that. I was trying to find a way to self-medicate because I didn't know how to cope. Yeah. And being by myself so much, like there's nothing wrong with people having a drink if they want to have a drink. But right. I was trying to drink to numb pain. Right. And I had to get to the root of what that pain was. And that pain was obviously some of the things that you experienced in your childhood. Definitely. In your early years. Definitely. That you actually began to relive, Tavia? I, I started to relive yeah. them because they started to really resurface. There was no more group. There was none of that that I had to worry about. And then I'm just like, okay, okay it's fun to go to a party. But, like, why am I doing it excessively? I was feeling right. lonely and mm -hmm. abandoned and, and things like that. So I turned to that. To alcohol. I did. Uh -huh. Now, I know you went to Atlanta for a while. Mm -hmm. uh, you left Houston and you, you you went to Atlanta. What was Atlanta like for you? Was that a better place for you at that time, Tavia? I loved Atlanta. I, Atlanta, I had always wanted to live there even when we were in the group. Really? And um, so after everything, you know, died down with Destiny's Child, I definitely moved there. And okay. I created a life there. And I, I created, I found new friends. And I just started trying to live. I felt like it was a better place for me to be able to work. Okay. But then, you know, my life started getting in the way, and I started, okay. in the words of Tyrese for his book, I started getting in my own way. Getting in your own way. Absolutely. So, that kind of happened. Yeah, yeah. And so, you know what I think is important? It's not always what we go through. Absolutely. But it's how we go through it, and what we gain from it, mm -hmm. that gives it the value that it has. Because when you're able to go through it and then make a difference from it, that not only affects your life, but the lives of other people, then what you have gone through is not in vain. Absolutely. And it helps you to realize your greater purpose for your experience in your life. So true. We have so much more to talk about. We're going to come back in just a moment with more from my wonderful guest, Miss Latavia. Latavia. Ooh. Did he just mess up her name? <laughs> Robinson. I know he know better. Okay. All right. In just a moment. And also, we got a few surprises for you. So stay tuned. We'll be back in just a second with more. back with more of Latavia Roberson. We're having such a great in-depth interview, man, and I'm so glad that we're able to catch the audience up on where Latavia's been and what's, you know, what's happening with Latavia. Now, Latavia, I was watching one day uh, Housewives of Atlanta, mm -hmm. and I hadn't seen you in a minute yes. uh, at the point that I saw you on Housewives of Atlanta, and I'm like, oh, there's my girl, there's Tavia, okay, yes. you know, and I'm all excited and pumped up. I watched the show, and I saw uh, uh, Phaedra, you know, like, Oh, Tavia, we're going to talk every day. We're going to make some mm -hmm. things happen. You know, I got the Midas touch. You got the Midas. We're going and I kept looking and waiting for something to happen after that because I felt like it would. Um, and then I never saw anything. What, what, what? I don't. That we, we discussed some business and we had planned on doing um, a, a, a business venture together. And okay. And as things would have it life took its different turns in both of our lives and um Phaedra as you can see she has become you know successful with, with right. the show when she started doing other things and um I started going around Atlanta a little more and and getting into work and trying to go network 
myself mm-hmm. a little more right. and then I got the shocking news that my mother was diagnosed with breast cancer. Yes, and I wow, wow. So Tavi, what was that like for you when you realized your mom had breast had breast cancer? I really didn't know how to feel because I didn't know what was gonna happen. Right. And nobody likes to prepare themselves for the worst. Mm-hmm. But I did, and in case the worst happened, I felt like it was best for me to be here at home. Right. So I came here to be by my mother's side throughout um, all of her, throughout her surgery and her radiation and, right. and all of that to just be here with her so yes. she can have my support. It was, to me, she was telling me, oh, baby, go ahead and do it. I can't be out trying to work knowing yeah, that knowing until that I know that you're okay. Yeah. Like, I, I, I just can't. It's not a part of my makeup. Right, right. So did when you got that news, were you feeling like you were faced with her immortality or mortality or, or that, the fear? To, to a certain extent, but I became the biggest prayer warrior mm. ever. I was always prayerful, but it just became something totally different. Right. To the point my mother was just like, oh my gosh, you're just so positive. I said, girl. <laughs> and I said, I don't know over there. <laughs> right. See these blessings. <laughs> yeah, that's right. That's right. But I, I I was glad. Now, we had we had some days over hell now. Yes. It, it was very hard. And, and the women at the at the, the cancer center, they, they warned me that we would have those days. Okay. So... At the end of the day, no matter how hard certain days were, yeah, I'm just so glad that I was able to be here, right, for my mother during that time. Yes, and I'm certain that she was glad that you were able to be here for oh, her, definitely as well. You have a very strong connection, a very strong bond with your mother. Yes, I do. Um, and I'm sure that that's always been a part of your life, right? You just always had well, that strong connection with Cheryl. I'm not gonna sugarcoat anything we've mm-hmm. had our issues now right um i definitely write about it in my book because it's just something that that we've had to go through to get to this point right and i'm glad that something as tragic as my mother being diagnosed with breast cancer wasn't mm-hmm. the start of us starting to get our relationship back to where it needed to be okay you know we touched on earlier you know things from my childhood right and um so we had to work through a lot. Right. And my mother was on the road with us as well, so I wasn't only going through the breakup and everything. My mother went through it as well, so she yeah. had her own set of feelings. I had my own set of feelings. We had feelings about each other, and mm-hmm. I'm growing up to start to be a young woman, right. young lady, and... Coming into your own. Oh, my goodness. It was... <laughs> whoo! <laughs> but we're here, and we, right. we have arrived as the people that we need to be. I think that's wonderful. And I know you experienced a lot of... Uh, losses material losses when you were transitioning I uh, did and everything and you recovered from that quite well I did I you know I again something that that I that I touch on I don't want to go too much in detail into the about book, huh? it but I I definitely talk about it in depth because it was important to me to be transparent to you guys because I want you guys to know where I've been I, yes. I'm not ashamed of where I've been and I'm going to definitely tell you, the good, the bad, and the ugly, the uncomfortable, all that. I've heard a lot of rumors about myself, and yeah. <laughs> I'm like, you know what, let me just say what it is that's happened. I'd rather you hear it from the horse's mouth, right, you know, right. uh-huh. and, and, and then go talk. Exactly, <laughs> you know, like, and then go talk. And you know what, and, and uh, I'm talking from my own experience, mm-hmm. uh, as it relates to Latavia. A lot of times when people don't know things, they'll come up with their own stories. Definitely. And they'll create stories about people, and they'll go out there into the universe, and they'll say those things mm-hmm. to people, and they're not even true. And a lot of times, we can't sit back and judge and talk about people, and we don't even know what their real circumstance is. And that's certainly some of the, one of the things that happened with you, because mm-hmm. people didn't know what was really going on right. with you. You know, uh, yeah, you disappeared for a while, mm-hmm. different people said different things, but they don't know the things that you've been through. They don't. They don't know the tears you've cried. Oh. They don't know the, the, the prayers you've prayed. Hmm. How you're down on your knees saying, God, help me get through this moment. Yes. Help me get past this, this period of time where I'm, 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 I'm self-medicating myself. 
you know what I mean, or this relationship or the things that have happened in my childhood. Mm -hmm. They don't know those things. And that's why I really wanted you on here. I want to clear up some stuff mm -hmm. just to let some people know. Stop lying and just making up stuff <laughs> on folk because that ain't cool. Especially when you don't know that person and you don't know their circumstances and what they've been through. And, and, and again, that's why, you know, I'm very thankful and, and grateful for being able to be here and do this, and especially in my, own, in my hometown. Because you said before, like, people do put things out into the atmosphere. And before you know it, you don't even understand why. It'll come knocking on your door and you're like, I wasn't even thinking this. Where did this come from? Right. And people don't, people don't understand that, you know, black magic comes off your tongue. And even if you're not speaking, you can speak it into somebody else's life. Yeah. Even just trying to say something that you heard. Now, we all talk. I'm, yes. not, I'm not trying to sit up here and say that, that we don't, but it just really touched me when you said that people speak things and they put it into the atmosphere. Mm -hmm. And it can also it can come back to somebody else. You never know right. what you're putting in somebody's the life. The damage. Mm -hmm. The damage. And just like the, the Bible talks about that, when you said life and death are in the power of the tongue, mm -hmm. you never know about the things that you say, how they can come back and hurt somebody. Right. Or it can come back and hurt you. So you need to be careful of judgment. Definitely. And and this type of thing. I'm not going to talk about this too much more. I mean, because I, I get I get mad myself oh, when I talk mad, about Farrell. it. You know, you know, and when I've heard things, you know, of course, because of my relationship personally with you. Right. When I hear things, I get mad about it. It's okay. And, uh, because you know you're my girl, man. You know what I and so hey, if y'all don't know everything, don't be don't be uh uh. It don't work like that. Now, uh, you got a whole bunch of stuff going on, baby. I do. I do. I do. I do. We got a book in the making. Yes. 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 I am. Finished with my book now, and I am trying to find the right publishing home for my book. Okay. So my book has always been my baby, and right now, I'm really, I really feel like it's a great, great, great time for my book to come out. Uh huh. And let people know where I've been, and let people know what's soon to come. Oh wow! And. and we gonna talk a little bit more about this book because I want to okay. find out a little bit more of the contents and all that stuff because I'm gonna definitely be one of the first people in line to uh, to make that purchase. So hey, don't go away, y'all. We're gonna be back in just a moment with more of the Tavia Roberson. So stick around. In fact, we got a couple of surprises for you. Get ready. <laughs> Welcome back to Let's Talk About It with my awesome and amazing guest, Miss Latavia Roberson is in the house representing H Town. What 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 you know what you what you know about that? Where am I from? What you know about the H? Who? We were just talking about the H a minute ago, trying to determine what it really meant when you did that. that. Well, when I do it, it mean H. That that's, means... that's the only thing I know that it's meant. It is. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what else. Okay, we I represent love you, H Town. Something I think like, like okay. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> we have so much amazing talent in Houston. It's such a blessing to get to showcase some wonderful people like Latavia Roberson, formerly of the uh, the group Destiny's Child. Latavia. You got a book in the making that we were talking about just before we left off in the, in the last segment. Yes. What motivated you to write the book? Actually, I, I've always wanted to write a book. Even from back in my days in Destiny's Child, I always said that I wanted to write a book about my experience mm -hmm. in the group. But once everything happened the way that it did, I still wanted to write a book because it was just, it just became a part of me. Okay. I've always been a person. I've never been afraid to share myself mm -hmm. with people. Um, I'm, I'm private in certain aspects, but there are some things you know, people want to know, and, you know, mm -hmm. I just I don't think that it's anything wrong with, right. with, with letting people know, you know, where you've been and the mm -hmm. things that you've been doing. So I wanted to do that, and then once things happened after the group I wanted to let people know what had happened when people started ask started hearing well, what happened to you what happened to you and started hearing those stories right I'm like okay well I'm still gonna write my book absolutely and I'm gonna definitely let everybody know what's been going on yeah and I think it's beautiful man I'm, I'm excited you. about it coming out I'm so excited about, about uh, you know people getting a better understanding of who Latavia Robertson really is definitely. you know to dispel some of the craziness that 
that, that we that we've certainly heard. You don't have to, but I, I feel <laughs> that you know it's something that I don't mind doing because, like I said, I don't mind people knowing. Yeah, and and, and I'm ready to let let them know where let I've been. Let them know what's going what on. What I've been doing. You know what I noticed about you, uh, Tavia? Even though you've been away from the spotlight for a long period of time, you kept yourself in like perfect shape. How did, oh, how did you, you stay like fit <laughs> like you were? I mean, because you stayed in, in shape. Well, I you know, I always, I, I like working out and I don't have bad eating habits or okay. anything like that. So it was it was never really that hard. I, I, I decided to make a lifestyle change and okay. I did. With some of the things, I've heard a lot of people say that with a lot of things that I've been through and me knowing the things that I've been through in the past 10 years, mm -hmm. um, a lot of people have said to me like, God must has really God has really restored you. Yes. Okay. Because and and my book is also about that um, you know abuse that I've endured and yeah. things like that and things that I've done even to myself. Right. Self abuse and I I just really don't I can't say that I don't understand now I know it's because I do have a different purpose mm -hmm. and I'm just very grateful for for what it what has happened, how my body has been reserved. Reserved. Yeah, yes. that's, a, that's a tremendous blessing. I know that a lot of what you actually had gone through brought you closer to God. Oh, definitely. And your relationship with God, your definitely. spiritual connection. That's oh, one of the things that I know about you personally. Definitely. So that's, that's definitely increased your... Yes, it's increased it. I, mm -hmm. you know, I was always close with God, but sometimes, you know, we run away from Him like He's not always there. <laughs> really? You know, um, I... I love the intimacy that I have with God now. Yes. More than anything. Yes, I think that's fantastic. And God gave us a life yes. so that we can have abundance, so that we can prosper, so we can grow. And speaking of God giving us life, Latavia. Yes. Is there something you wanna <laughs> something you wanna tell us about, baby? <laughs> What's been going on with Latavia? I mean, no, we didn't caught up all the way up to all these years, but it's something real big that, that that's, that's about to happen. And uh, uh, go on and give him a little clue. Uh, speaking of life, I <laughs> am almost five months pregnant. <laughs> and there you have it, folks. Breaking news: Latavia Roberson has let us know that she is nearly five months pregnant. Yes. So she is actually giving life to another individual. Yes, I am. Baby, what does that feel like for you? It is, it's wonderful. I've always wanted to be a mother. I've always wanted a family. And to find out was a, it was a shocker. Okay. I'm like, I'm, I'm in Atlanta, I'm doing my thing, and <laughs> things are about to start happening. And I'm like, oh my goodness. This, this timing is off, huh? <laughs> <laughs> well, actually, clearly the timing couldn't have been more perfect. Mm. Because... At the end of the day, God has a plan, right. and it doesn't have anything to do with me. Right. And it's been one of the most, oh gosh, Pharaoh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, go ahead. <laughs> it's um, It's been one of the most beautiful experiences of my life. Yeah. And just to, to feel another life growing inside, inside of, of you. Inside of you, yeah. And... Mm. Life's there are no life. words yeah. that that can describe the joy that I feel mm -hmm. knowing that I'm about to be a mother. Wow. And that's huge. That it is, is huge. <laughs> because in no still in disbelief, actually. <laughs> <laughs> I am. Yeah, yeah. But it's a beautiful thing, man. It is. And that that has been one of the biggest additions. The um bringing more awareness to to breast cancer awareness especially right. because of my mother because of my mother and i'm doing a lot of advocacy work mm -hmm. in atlanta i have some things going on with um susan g coleman oh that's great um, that's a huge foundation yes, for breast absolutely. cancer absolutely i'm looking forward to it uh, my reality show that will be documenting that's documenting my pregnancy um, which I am a producer on the show as well. So Fantastic. I get to add something else to my belt. I'm very excited about that. Um, the, the the ups and downs of my relationship with uh, my child's father. Okay. Um, we are, you know, we're a work in progress. And yeah. we, you know, we definitely have a lot of love for each other. Mm -hmm. But, you know, the struggle is beautiful in itself. Yeah. As, as well. And 
I'm just definitely looking forward to to being on this journey, and mm -hmm. I'm about to start doing a lot of speaking engagements and wow, start to great. reach out to to young girls and young women to definitely share my story mm -hmm. and just to go to go give back and to let people into my world and if there's any kind of words of encouragement that I can offer yes to anyone I'm definitely I'm open for and, and you know what that's what makes you such an awesome person to me thank you you're so transparent you know you're letting people in you you it's beautiful thank you. not everybody can do that and you know what it takes strength to do that thank you uh, this is by far not a weak person. This is a very strong, resilient person. <laughs> uh, someone who can be so transparent and just keep it real. Because that's what's going to bless the people that get to see this show and to see this program. So you're making such a huge impact on everybody that's going to get to see this, this show today. And uh, not only that, but the world through your book. Yes. Through your reality show. Yes. You're doing a lot of things, man. I am. You're doing a lot of things. I am, and I'm so, it, it's my time. I've been investing in, into my acting career as well, <clears throat> something mm -hmm. that I've wanted to do for many, many, many years. And yes. so there are just so many things that have started to happen in 2013. And yeah. I think that the Lord made it happen at the perfect mm. time in my life. I'm strong enough to deal with anything. I'm ready for everything. Come on now. Come on. And you are ready for everything. Let's go. Let's get them. Let's get them, all right? <laughs> and God's timing is perfect. You know, sometimes we look at things and say, oh, I wish this wouldn't happen. Yeah. But you don't know what, what God has in plan for you, the bigger picture. And I always say these things that happen are little bitty pieces to the puzzle of some, for something far greater in our lives. And by far, always. I know that this is a piece to the puzzle for something so much greater yes. in your life. I'm we got more to talk it. about in just a moment with Latavia Robeson. You don't want to go away. We'll be right back. All right, welcome back to this last <laughs> segment of Let's Talk About It with my awesome guest representing H-Town, Miss Latavia Roberson. Man, this has been such a great and informative informative uh, interview with you. Thank you very much. I've definitely enjoyed myself. Fantastic. I can interview you all day long, though. You know that? What? Yeah, man, we always got something to talk about. Well, this is true. Mm -hmm. this is very true. And that's the name of the show. Let's do what? <laughs> talk about it. Let's talk about it. <laughs> Let's talk about it. Now, let's let's talk about this for a minute. You got a reality show. We touched on a little bit. Tell me a little bit about what this reality I show do. is all about. The, the reality show um, is chronicling my life and me being on an uprise back into getting my career restored. Okay. And it's something that I'm glad that I can do because I would love for people to see the struggle. Yes. That I, you know, it it hasn't been easy. I've tried, you know, just to to try to get myself in the doors and things like that. I don't mind people being along with me. Uh -huh. And the simple fact that, I, that I'm pregnant now um, has really made people start knocking to want to want to document you a little bit more now. my pregnancy yeah. as well. So <laughs> we're definitely chronicling that. And I'm wow. excited. I don't mind people seeing me. Like I said, I've embraced pregnancy very, very, very well. I right. feel very comfortable being pregnant for whatever reasons. I don't know about that baby factory going on, but <laughs> 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 but I've always, you know, I've always wanted like three, four kids. So is that right? So this is just a start. This is just a start, but I can't get too old now. No, I mean, but hey, it is good Lord say so. It's up then, to him. Then so be it, huh? Definitely, because if it was up to me, I would have had kids when I was like twenty three. But he was like, girl. <laughs> Sit down somewhere. <laughs> no. You ain't quite ready for I this yet. I wasn't ready. Yeah. Because this has really been a life-changing uh, changing experience for you. It has been. It yeah. Has been. It has been. All right. We got so much to talk about, man. I'm, I'm enjoying. Uh, <laughs> I don't know who this person is. Knock uh, at the door. All right. <laughs> what? Uh, are you serious? <laughs> oh, oh, wow. Look at this. What's H Town Zone. This is Golden Boy, one of Houston's what hottest rappers. Man, what you doing here? I just came to show some love and bring some sky truths for the lovely lady right here. Oh, wow. Well, 
Ace Town is definitely being represented today. Wow. Wow. Yeah, man. It's a good look. All right. I just shot. Job. Golden Boy is in the house at Latavia Roberson's Golden interview. Boy. <laughs> <laughs> in oh, Ace Town. What a pleasant surprise, man. Oh, man, it's a blessing. All right, real quick, what's going on with you, man? Oh, you know, I just stopping by, you know, got some things going on. The International Festival coming up. New mixtape coming out. All right. You know, it's a good look, man. All right, all look. right. That is fantastic. Well, I, you just up. never know what's going to happen on the set of Let's Talk About It. You we never just, know. We, I, <laughs> Clearly. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. How many years has it been since I've seen oh, so, you? so, so long. Wow, Y'all wow. go back a little bit. Yeah, Whoa. Do. Yeah. <laughs> back like two flats. Like, <laughs> Did you say back like two flats? Yes. <laughs> like, <laughs> What you got? In, what the, what the, what's going on say. with you? I got okay. the new, new trues, man. Okay. That's what I got with the real That's colorful what's ones, up. With the gold and the turquoise and all that there. That's what those colors. And um, you know, I'm gonna give them to you. I want you to have. Oh wow! And I say there's some nice colors. Yeah. Wow. You know them yours. That's what's up. Thank you, oh, dear. Number but love. Oh wow! Oh my goodness! Oh my god! You just never oh, know god, what's gonna god, happen god, on the set. Oh, Let's talk about it. Check me out in my truth. Wow. What it do. <laughs> what it do, baby. What it do. What it do. What it do. <laughs> Thank you, George. That oh, is wow. what's up. You got yours on, too? What year is that? Oh, well, I put mine away. You put, you you got put some? mine back on. Man. Sky okay. True. Get, get a camera shot with me. Yeah. yeah. Oh, it's for the frame. You just never know what's going to happen. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, George. Needless to say, folks, I I have had a very fun and exciting interview with Miss Latavia Robertson, and lots of surprises today. And we even got Houston's own Golden Boy that just knocked on the door and busted in on our interview. But man, be glad you came through, boy. It's not a problem. I love y'all. All right, we love you too. you too. All right, thanks so much. All right. Again, you just never know what's going to happen on the set. I hope you guys have enjoyed Miss Latavia Robertson as much as I have. And until next time, we'll see you then on Let's Talk About It. All right. We'll see you on Let's Talk About It. <laughs> That's a good one.